Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Got a truck video for you today, and what I thought I would do is just give you a, an update on where we're at with the build. Let's see, how long have I owned the truck now? Four or five months? Something like that. And I've done quite a bit to it. It's, I don't know, maybe I'm halfway done with everything I want to do. So we'll just kind of do a walk around and check this thing out. So front end is looking good for now. New lights went on, new bumper. I think one of my long-term plans, if I want to get crazy, is to eventually pull the bumper back off and weld these holes shut, re-chrome the bumper, and then put it back on. Because in Nevada, we don't need a front plate. If you look at pictures of these trucks online, like every single one, even like show quality, trucks have these holes there and i'm like man it would be so cool to have those gone and just have it be a solid piece of chrome so that's kind of a long-term thing that i have in the back of my head i did get a quote from a couple people and it's basically like 800 bucks to fill those two holes the most recent thing i have had done is the tint i don't know how well you can see this on camera but i got the darkest stuff the highest quality since it's really hot here and it really cleaned it up before the stuff was peeling off and it was ripped in parts, but I love um, the finished look of it. It's definitely a whole different truck with that on there, so that's great. We added this trim back on, if you saw the last video, and that too has grown on me. I, I like how it breaks it up and the whole thing is, is just looking really clean. Even with this older paint, it's cleaned up pretty nice. That said, I did get a quote just for kicks, just for fun, on a paint job from Mako, <laughs> which uh, they have a reputation, but they quoted me thirty-one seventy-five to do a full color change. That's base coat, clear coat under the hood, door jams, and I don't, I don't know, I don't think I'm gonna do it. It's, we went to the place and I was like, hey, can you show me some base coat, clear coat stuff that you've done recently? And I walked back there and I'm looking at it and I'm like, dude, it, it, some of them look like they took a thing of nail polish and just brushed it on the whole thing. It, it's, it's bad, but. I'm gonna keep getting, I'm gonna go get some other quotes from like reputable actual paint shops and eventually make this thing like a, a dark gray. That's what I'm going for. The interior, it's pretty clean. Uh, really what's left to do in here is put a sound system in, which doing the research, Probably going to be two to three thousand dollars, maybe more, maybe less. That's down the road. I can wait for that and get everything else dialed in first. But overall, there's not much that needs to be done in there. I do have some clips for the front driver floor mat right here. And I got to figure out how to put these in. I'm going to have to pull the seats out, pull the carpet, and then find a place to put these in the perfect spot, poke them through the carpet, and then hook my floor mat to it. Because it's always move around, and these are designed to just hold it in place, which will be incredibly nice for someone like me that's always like, gosh darn it, it's off by two degrees. And, you know, I'm, I'm always straightening it, like every time I, <clears throat> every time I get in the thing, practically. So that's a to-do item. And then I also have a door actu or door lock actuator for the, the driver's side. It just is really weak, like it'll kind of move a little bit when you lock and unlock it, and I usually have to manually unlock it. So I gotta throw that in, pull the door panel, get my arm all up in there, cut it up from the edges of the metal. It's just not something I'm looking forward to, but gotta do it. Other things over here, this is the wiring for the fog lights, which this truck was not equipped with. So I have to wire these 
and probably go to the junkyard and get a switch for the instrument pa panel, which would go over here. Right there is where the factory button would go, and I'm just gonna have to go find one and then figure out how to wire it, which I don't even know how, but we're still gonna send it. Another thing I've got to do is replace the weather stripping. I added really quick some this cheap little piece. I just stuck it on top. Looks really bad, but I had a lot of wind noise that was bugging me. So I put that on. It cut the wind noise way down, and I just need to get some fresh stuff that's not collapsed, and it'll it'll look normal after that point. Another thing I have my eye on is a new set of mirrors. I actually ordered three or four sets from various websites, different designs and all that. None of them fit and none of them looked good. So I found a set on Summit Racing. Um, what is it? What's the brand name? Calview Street something Calview. I don't know. But it it's this sporty look and it also has the electricals to adjust the mirrors which i'm not going to go without so what i don't like about these is the wind noise is crazy there's a little whistle from wind going through somewhere they, they look okay they're that cl you know classic 9902 bubbly mirror look but i would much rather have a a sportier sort of one piece design that cuts way down on the noise. So the ones on Summit are back ordered till April. So I think everyone wants those. The other thing I'll update you on is uh, the stance of the truck, as far as it being level left to right, is now perfect. In the last video, I moved the leaf spring. Let's just go down there and look, why don't we do that? For starters, I put on new leaf springs and new shocks. And when I got done with that, I measured and the driver's side in the rear was an inch low. So what the heck, if anyone has answers to the whole Chevy lean phenomenon, let me know. But what I decided to do was correct it with, um, first of all, dropping one hole on these drop shackles and I got half an inch of difference. It moved it up to where the difference side to side was half an inch at that point. So then I okay, removed the overload leaf and put in a half inch lifting block. I removed the overload from both sides to improve the ride and lifted it the rest of the way it needed to go with that block. As far as the overload springs, I ended up mounting those up here, which I know is probably weird to a lot of you guys, but I wanted a little bit more weight to increase the spring rate on these leaves just to help improve the ride. The truck bed is so bouncy going down the highway and it drives me nuts. So weight can help with that. These are probably only like 30 pounds, but I thought it couldn't hurt to just slap these up there, bolt them in and, and get the, the ride a little bit squishier. So here's the problem. Since I've made those changes to level the truck, it's got some weird anomalies going on as far as the ride. Like I'm getting a sort of shimmy inconsistently in the passenger rear side. So I might have thrown the geometry off enough to just make it react weird to imperfections in the road, but that's the latest thing that has been causing me to lose sleep because I just want it to ride like it's on train rails. So I thought about mounting a GoPro down there and just seeing what's going on. Maybe I'll add some more weight to see if it like just pushes everything down and settles it down. It's one of those things like I will figure it out. At the end of the day, if I have to get like QA1 full coilover conversion kit for seven grand, Crystal may divorce me, but I have to do the right thing for the truck. <laughs> Another thing I haven't done yet is put this rear bumper on. I just haven't gotten to it. The other one is just kind of scuffed up or whatever. 
And yeah, that's part of the cleanup. This is a backup camera, which I purchased in preparation for a sound system that will include backup camera capability and all that. So my thought for this was to hide it in the, the handle to, for the lift gate or the truck bed gate. What do you call that thing? The tailgate handle is where I thought about hiding that. I basically don't want it to be seen. They do sell truck, what do you call it? Truck? Tailgate. Tailgate handles with a camera in it, but it just, it looks like a butt crack, like it's awkward. I don't want that look. I took off the throttle body spacer. For the love of God, would someone tell me, do these things make a difference or not? I don't know. Like, there's no definitive answer on it. One guy was like, well, it doesn't add any horsepower, but it adds throttle response. And a lot of people think it makes no difference at all. On the throttle body video, people were like, no, take that thing off. That thing's, you don't want that thing on there. So I'm just like, okay, whatever. Mo or body mounts. I got the four done under the cab. And you would not believe what I had to do. Let me give you a little backstory. This truck apparently has a Canadian frame. So the body mounts are not sold. No one even knows about them. Barely anyone knows about the Canadian thing. And I went through three sets of body mounts and I finally, finally found someone that sold the round hole. Body mounts with the round hole in the middle there so that it can slide on to the round shaft that I have. Most of them are oval. And then what I had to do, I'll, we'll put in a picture because I didn't film. Uh, I still have the scars on my hand from doing this, but I had to basically take the old mount and, well, I took this, I've set it on the hole and I traced the opening in the frame, the frame hole, which is like sort of circular with flat it, flat sides on it. And then I took a box cutter and had to cut the excess off of this till it was the exact shape of the hole in the frame. Uh, yeah, it took me hours to do just four and I still need to do these two for the radiator support and I'm just dreading it. It's only two, but it's just like, golly, why am I having to cut polyurethane just to get these things to go in? But this will probably be the last set I ever do. So once it's done, it's done. And then I've got front shocks to put on. I think I'm gonna slap these on right now because it's easy. I'm just gonna jack this thing up, pull them out, plop these in, and that'll be fun for me to see if those make a difference on the way to work today. And then the last thing I've got is this drive shaft or steering shaft rather. I went on LMC truck and I got a little uh, part happy. <laughs> and it said this, this thing really improves the the feel of the steering. It's got extra rubber in it to dampen any vibrations from the road and it gets rid of the clunk and stuff like that. So I thought, well, this seems like a cool upgrade. I just have to get it in there. I'm also going to remove the injectors this week and get those cleaned, test them out, see if those are good, maybe adjust the tune as well. So I don't know, we're getting close. It's been fun. It's still fun. If I can just figure out the ride, I'm going to be a happy camper from there to just tinker and like take my time. But anyway, let's get these shocks in, huh? Okay, we got it back on the ground. That was easy enough, I guess. I'm gonna take it for a spin just to make sure the wheels don't fall off on my way to work and that it rather happens right now so I can fix it. I added a couple of weights. I got my, my workout thing over there, which obviously I don't use. Uh, so I took the 35s 
I've got 70 pounds in the back right now, and I'm just going to go around the block and just see, like, would that be enough to, to give it that ride? And I'll take them to work, too, and see if it, how it does on the highway. But this will be an experiment to make sure the shocks are going to stay on and then see if a little bit of weight improves the ride. But since we're here, you might as well hear the cold start. What I've got on here are long tube headers, true dual exhaust all the way back, going through a 22 inch MagnaFlow muffler, two in, two out. All right, well, nothing fell off. Seems to be riding just fine. I think the highway is going to be the real test. I forgot to mention earlier, um, I still need to paint the front wheel wells. I, I was going to do that today, but got lazy, sat around on the couch too long. So try it for another day. Anyway, thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.